Hi everybody, welcome to another video. In this video we're going on another paracamping adventure. This time, another local guy, Dylan, from the other side of the valley here, is going to come flying with me. We're flying out over the mountains and checking out a camping spot. Come along for the ride. I've got some of Dylan's videos, so I'm going to be switching back and forth between the two. Come along on the adventure with us. Let's go, let's get to the sky. All right, here we go guys. Getting ready to do our paracamping trip. We are loaded down and I got my tent, my sheet and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm ready to rock. I'm going paracamping. Got my tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pads, some extra clothes. Going camping out the other side of that mountain over there. Dylan's meet me in the sky. The hardest thing of paracamping is launching with the extra weight of all your camping stuff. And I have a good bit of fuel as well. Just makes everything heavy. And the bag clipped on the front here makes it more awkward. I don't know if you can see or not, but the bag kind of hangs low when I'm launching, so my knees are hitting it. Dylan already messaged me and said he's in the air, so we'll get up there and try and meet him. Great, that wasn't too bad. I'm up. Now, see if I can find Dylan. Woo, man, it is beautiful up here. Going over here to meet Chris Ocker. He's somewhere over here. Well, there's Dylan. We are headed over the mountain here and then around that next mountain to our camping spot. Winds are a little bit strong, so we're going to stay pretty high as we cross this mountain here. Try to avoid any rotor. So we made it over the mountains. As you can see, we're headed down into the valley to try and penetrate the wind a little bit better. It still may be rough with all these hills out here, small mountains, whatever you want to call them. Dylan's up here behind me somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I think we're relatively close to our destination here, actually. We've only been flying for about half an hour, so we're not too far away from home. It'll probably be an additional, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes till we get where we're going. So maybe an hour total flight time. Just a great day for a camping adventure. Uh, LZ is right up here. You guys can probably see Chris. Uh get in here we'll check it out and um, kind of see where we want to set up and land all right guys we landed here uh, this is our place for the night Chris coming up nice yard so we'll go ahead and get pair camp set up all right I guess we'll zip back up for a quick second flight there is no way in here. Chris is launching that way, and I'm heading towards him. Well, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. It's pretty dark now. Uh, we landed, dropped off our camping stuff, went over, flew with the powered parachute. Now we're gonna land, set up camp, and call it a night. Hey. 
<laughs> Don't know if you can see anything at all, but we're all set up. Got the tent set up, got the paramotors. Barely any fuel. <laughs> we don't know if we have enough fuel to make it home, but that's part of the adventure. We'll see you in the morning. We got the tents all packed up, wings laid out. Dylan's about ready to go here. We're gonna see if we can launch and then make it home. We kind of played around last night and flew, so we're pretty low on fuel. We'll see what happens. See if we can launch these wet wings and no wind. Nice. One and done for Dylan. See if I can do the same. What a beautiful morning to fly a paramotor. We're going to head up over this mountain and then we're both going to head home. I don't know if you can see it or not, Dylan doesn't have much fuel. I have even less. He's got to go all the way to those mountains over there, basically. I just have to go three or four miles out that direction. There you might be able to see the fuel level. Pretty low. I have about three liters of fuel, so I'm relatively low. There should be plenty to get me home. Basically dealing with no winds up here right now. Okay, we'll check the windsock here quick and then come in for a landing. I don't perceive any wind up here. So I bet it's nothing down there. Yep, wind socks are hanging straight down, not even a whisper. So it's gonna make for a fast landing on wet grass, but should be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> well, that's a completed mission. Camping adventure done. Hopefully Dylan made it home safely with uh, plenty of gas in his tank. Yeah. All right, we just had our first motor out. We are out of fuel. We are out of fuel. We are heading straight ahead. I am out of fuel. I am coasting. Holy hell. Woohoo! Man, out of fuel. Ugh. Sliding in. Engine out right before the house. I knew that was gonna happen. We were getting super close. Man, that was perfect. 11 liters got me there and back. Whew. A little extra fuel wouldn't hurt next time, Dylan. Keep note. <laughs> well, as you can see there, Dylan kind of made it back to his spot. He kind of ran out of fuel and landed a little bit short in his field, but everybody landed safe. Everybody's home. I guess we'll see you in the next adventure. Have a good one, guys. Later on.